Okay, so we're going to be looking at similar triangles. And you're going to discover how you know two triangles are similar. So what can you tell me about these two triangles just by looking at it? Okay, you can see that the lengths are different, but what is the same in these two triangles? The angles are the same. The corresponding angles are exactly the same. Look at angle A. Oops. Which angle corresponds with angle A? Which one is corresponding to angle A? Good. Angle D is corresponding to angle A, and they're the same angle, right? If you look at side AB and you compare it to side DE, what do you notice happened here? It got doubled, right? Okay, so can you figure out the missing side length of CB? Can we figure out what the side length is going to be? Good. Okay, you know that this is going to be two units for this. These two triangles are similar because their corresponding angles are equal. Okay, if the corresponding angles are the same and the sides are proportional, that means that it was increased or decreased by the same amount, right? We can say that these, these sides are proportional to each other, right? Triangle ABC doubled to get DEF, exactly. Okay, so two triangles are similar if the corresponding angles are equal. That means that the angles that are in relation to one another, they're in the same relative position. Okay, if the angles that are in the same position are equal, that's one indicator that the two triangles are similar. And, okay, it has to be both of these. And the corresponding sides have to be proportional. That means they're going to have the same ratio. And we'll talk about what that means in a second. We're going to see if these two triangles are similar triangles. So we're, we need to check if what? How do we find out if they're similar triangles? Looking at it, are the, are, we are given two measurements of, of angles. So we have angle C and angle E. Do they, are they corresponding? Yes. Are they equal? Yes. yes. So we also need to test the other um, rule to see if they are similar. We know the corresponding angles are equal. We have to see if the corresponding sides have the same ratio. So which side corresponds with AC? DE. -E. Okay. Okay, so we're going to find the ratio of AC and DE. We're going to find out what that is equal to. Okay, so the ratio of AC to DE is 2. <laughs> We're going to find the ratio of which other two sides are corresponding? CB and, C, B and C, e, F. Good. Okay, so we found the um, <coughs> ratio of other, two other sides on these two triangles that are corresponding. And what did you find? Are the ratios the same? No. No. These two sides are not proportional. These two triangles are not proportional because their corresponding sides do not have the same ratio. So these are not similar triangles. We're trying to see if these two triangles are similar triangles. And we have a triangle inside another triangle, right? So we're going to separate the two triangles. Let's draw two separate triangles. So we have triangle C, D, E, and we have triangle B, D, E. A. So we're going to separate those two triangles and label what you can, okay, what information you're given. How can we find the length of BD? Add, Add what? Eight and, six. Eight and six, which is? Fourteen. We also do not know the length of DA. Let's call it Y, okay? Okay, so because we're not given any angles in this question, we're gonna, we need to find the missing lengths. We're told that these two triangles are similar, so we know that the corresponding sides will all have the same ratios. Are you given any two side lengths that are corresponding? Side length BD corresponds with which side length on the second triangle? CD, good. These two sides are corresponding. What other two sides are corresponding? DA corresponds to what? DE. And then finally... A, B corresponds to C, E. These are the sides that are corresponding. We need to figure out if all of their ratios are equal. We're given side length D, B and D, C, and we know th these two sides correspond. So let's figure out what is the ratio of these two corresponding sides. We know that side length D, B 
and CD are corresponding, their ratio must be equal to X over 6. Okay? All ratios in similar triangles must be equal. They're proportional. They're, they must have the same ratio. So you're going to cross multiply to solve for the unknown variable. So we're going to do 6 times X is 6X, and 14 times 6 is what? 84. How do I isolate X? Divide both sides by 6. We're left with X equals X equals 14. And that is the missing side length. Okay, now we need to find the missing side length of DA, which we labeled as Y. So once again, we're going to set up a proportion. We know that 14 over 6, these two corresponding sides, has to be equal to Y over what? Which side corresponds with y? 3.6. The ratios of corresponding sides will always be equal. They're always going to be equal if the two triangles are similar. And we're told in this question that these two triangles are similar, which means they must have the same proportion. So we're going to cross multiply to solve for y. 6 times y is 6y, 14 times 3.6 is 50.4, isolate y, divide by 6, divide by 6, y is equal to 8.4.